Since time has been recorded, we've been looking for the fountain of youth. Cleopatra, back in her day, she used donkey milk to bathe in to stay young. In Victorian era, they used wine masks to stay young. Today, we've got a little more science on our side, but still, every once in a while, there's something that grabs us and says, this is the answer. And the answer that some people have come up with, teenage blood. Using someone else's blood to potentially rejuvenate a person, A, is just a ridiculous concept. There's, there's no possible way that it could be effective. So at least with PRP, you're using the patient's own tissue, if you will, but using a younger blood, it's ridiculous. I think that's pretty outlandish. Just because you're putting teen blood into somebody doesn't mean it's gonna make them younger, and I do not think that's gonna be the fountain of youth. On the surface, it sounds pretty ludicrous, and also somewhat dangerous because now you're putting a person at risk, essentially transfusing a blood product from another person, which does have some risk for something that's completely unproven and illogical. Just because the donor was younger, does it mean the recipient's gonna get younger? I remember as a general surgery resident putting a 30-year-old kidney in a 50-year-old man, but a year later, that 50-year-old man didn't look any younger. He looked 51. If you've got a burning issue, you're too afraid to ask your plastic surgeon, Get a hold of me at theplasticsurgerychannel.com. I'll find out. I'm John Hammerly.